Being a GM is so difficult that my face is starting to break out and I'm just so super stressed out, bro. But in the last episode, I was thinking about trading one of our custom players. And as of right now, I think I found a trade. I think I found a trade that's really, really hard not to agree to. But before I get to the trade, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Prince U2 PS Compulsion signing in here, aka Prince Anthony. Time to take a look at that offer. Just look at this trade offer, bro. Look at this trade offer. San Antonio Spurs are willing to give us DeJounte Murray in a first round pick for Josh Hart, who we barely use, and my son, Pop. We're looking into trading the custom players we have on our squad in the last episode. Um, but looking at DeJounte Murray's stats, inside he can score, outside he can score. Perimeter defense is an A+. Dude is 6'4". He could do it all, bro. He could really do it all. This is the type of point guard that we definitely need on our squad. And I'm really tempted to make this deal. This is this is an offer I really don't want to pass up on. I don't know. But looking at the stats for Pav, his scoring is lit. But look at his defense. Due to 6 1, he's short. Perimeter defense is a C minus. Although his potential is higher than DeJounte Murray's, his basketball IQ isn't. His defense isn't. And the dude is way shorter. I don't know man I don't know like this deal is really really interesting and I don't know just leave a comment in the comment section for me tell me what you guys think about this deal because in my books I feel like this book I feel like this trade is a go I don't, I don't know I don't know if this would influence your decision on whether or not we should trade my son ranches but as of right now, he is in the running to become most improved player. He's averaging 14 points this season and 4 assists, which is pretty good because last season when we first got him on the squad, he was like a 72, 73 overall. I think between a 72 and a 74 for sure, but he wasn't doing much at all. This season, he really, really improved, but I don't know, man. I'm still a... DeJounte Murray. I feel like another point guard we should go after is De'Aaron Fox. Looking at this New York Knicks roster... It is trash, bro. Everybody on this team is trash. The Knicks are not doing well this season at all. And looking at the stats for De'Aaron Fox, amazing. Just like DeJounte Murray. Perimeter defense, A-. minus. He can score inside, outside. Crazy. His stats are insanely lit. And he's on a max deal. So basically in the offseason, he signed a max deal with the New York Knicks. And in all honesty, he wanted the payday. But in all honesty, do you really think he wants to stay in New York, bro? So in the last EP, we defeated the Miami Heat. We destroyed them. And I simulated a week and a half. And up next, we are going to be facing off against the Minnesota Timberwolves nationally televised game. And in the next episode, I'm probably going to simulate to the All-Star break in all honesty. Because our schedule isn't that bad. And speaking of the All-Star break, let's look at the All-Star voting. And where is our All-Star? I don't see nobody from our squad getting votes to be in the all-star game they could have at least added bradley beal to the votes like come on malcolm brogdon is okay well he's pretty good but over bradley beal come on bro and when i tell you guys that we're rolling in the money we definitely are i increased our ticket prices again to 250 dollars and we are still at 100 fan attendance I just might raise these ticket prices again. You guys know I'm all about the greens. Time for this nationally televised game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. What is their record looking like? Oh, 20 and 21 for the season is Minnesota. We are 24 and 16, and we've been playing extremely well. We really have. Timberwolves got D'Lo, Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, they got Joe Ingles. Yeah, this roster doesn't really look the best. In my opinion, this should be an easy W, in my opinion. But knowing the Hall of Fame CPU, they're not going to make this game too easy on me. But anyways, Wizards, Wolves, let's go Wizards. We got this. If I win the tip, I automatically win the game. Of course, I don't get the tip. <laughs> but anytime I win a tip, I always win the game, bro. Never ceases to amaze me. But here comes D'Lo spinning to the basket. Okay. I see you, D'Lo. But anyways, this is definitely a game we should be able to win. In all honesty. Here comes Ranches off the pick and roll. Alley oop to Hendrix. D low in traffic again. Okay, he's on fire to start this game. All six of the Minnesota Timberwolves points. Here comes Ranches. I'm driving. Of course. I couldn't draw the foul on that one, bro. But so far, the Timberwolves have been playing good. Oh, there we go. Nice, beautiful steal. Getting the ball up ahead. Ranches to the basket. D'Lo the only one putting in work for the Wolves right now. Shot clock starting to wind down. Oh, there we go. Excellent steal. Time to push the tempo. Here comes Morris. I see you, Hendrix. As he throws down the beautiful. Ew, who's that custom player launching threes like that? 
He misses. Did he just did he just hit me with a look away three? Who is that guy? <laughs> Ah, oh, man, the Wolves are actually playing me very well here in the first quarter, and that worries me because we should be up by a lot of points off the pick and roll. There we go. That's too easy. My custom play. If I was D'Lo, I'm taking every single shot. Oh, relaunching a contested three. Get out of here. You ain't Steph Curry. Get that custom player out of here. But let's see what we got in this possession here. It's Morris. We haven't been playing. Well, I can't even say we've been, we haven't been playing well. I'm pulling up with Ingram. I just want to see if I could make a shot or not. But I'll take the putback. Our second unit is cooking so far for the game. Let's see if they could keep it up here in this second quarter. Without D'Lo in the game, we should be able to get anything we want. The offensive end, look at that. Kuzma inside. I almost forgot the Wolves got cat. That should have been a block. But Car Anthony Towns haven't been doing nothing all game. Here comes Morris. I see you! I saw you, Kuzma. <laughs> look at that alley. You beautiful jam. Oh, wait, they launching contested threes. Come on. Oh, get the ball. What are y'all doing? Okay. We got a good lead right now. Let's keep it up. Here comes Morris. I'm driving to the basket on every possession because for some reason I can't knock down jump shots. Still, even with the patch. But anyways, Kuzma inside getting right past the defense with E. Noel inside. He got it. But my son Kyle Kuzma got a takeover going. He is beasting right now. He is literally getting anything that he wants down low. Let's keep on feeding the high hand. Running the pick and roll, seeing if I could get him. Ah oh, man, I was going to launch that three-pointer, but I probably would have missed, even with the takeover. Let's see. Trying to run. Oh, wait. What kind of defense is that? That was too easy for Kyle. Who are they going to? Carl Anthony Towns. What was that, bro? Ah <laughs> oh, man. Minnesota. What was that? I can't even be mad because right now, look at the lead. We had a good lead, and all of a sudden, the Timberwolves are only down by one. I'm launching this three with Beal. Oh, he got it. First bucket of the game. Oh, no. What you, get that weak stuff out of here. Don't disrespect me like that. Yo, Jabari Parker tried to pull up in my face, and look at that. Please don't tell me. Okay. I thought Bradley Beal was injured for a second. It's just the animation. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Anyways, four-point lead. Let's see if my starting five could bump that lead back up. I want to launch another jump shot with Beal, but I'm driving. Can't get it to go. Hendricks with the offensive rebound. Should I launch this three with Ingram? Oh, man, I kind of wanted to do that. I'm going to try driving instead. There we go. I should have drew the foul on that. If they drive to the basket, I'm going to block their shot. I'm waiting with Hendricks. I'm waiting. Block that. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Do I necessarily have to be right in front of the Hall of Fame CPU to block them? Because they block my shots from all over the place. If you guys get what I'm saying on that part. But anyways, let's see what we got. Ingram off the pick. I did not. Oh, I got a perfect release on that shot. I didn't even mean to. Who is this bum? Rivers should have been a block, but he bricks it. And we got a 10-point lead. This game is slipping away from Minnesota. Our offense is rolling. I'm going right back to Bradley Beal. He's doing extremely well here in this third quarter. I want to launch a three-pointer. Hmm. I'm driving. Why not? Bradley Beal is tired, but he still gets the perfect release on the drive. Listen, this Timberwolves team is not going anywhere, so what about D'Lo? Do y'all want D'Lo? Y'all willing to accept an offer? I trade you Marcus Morris for D'Angelo Russell. But anyways, let's see what I got on this possession. I'm talking nonsense right now. Beal is filling it. 11 points, bro. I think he got all 11 points here in this third quarter. Beal driving to the basket again. Where is the foul? His defense, though. Look at that. Bringing the help. Cat cannot get the shot to go. How many points do we have? As Dort takes it all the way to the basket. The Wolves are not even trying it. Can the Wolves finally score? Shot clock is winding down. Y'all gonna have to put something up. Rivers. Cannot get that three to go. I feel bad for the Wolves right now. I could just run down the clock on literally every possession. I mean, the fourth quarter just started, but let's be honest. The Wolves are not doing nothing. Shot clock's starting to wind down, trying to drive with Morris. Oh, that's an easy dunk. Bro, what was that? If Shaq in the Fool was a real thing on NBA 2K, this would definitely make... Bro, what was that? Masa Monte Morris didn't even get blocked. He went up for a dunk, completely missed it, and the ball just hit him in his head. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Shaq in the Fool Washington Wizard Edition. I feel so bad for D-Lo. 
If you want to come play on our squad, you definitely can. Bro, what was... <laughs> yo, what are they doing? Nice pass to Morse. Thank you for actually making the dunk this time. Oh, yeah, this is... Bro, what was that? You getting stripped by Joe Ingles? Carl Anthony Towns pulls up wide open. Dude is throwing up bricks. Sheesh. I'm about to drop to the basket. Oh, no, I found Ingram. This game is done. I want to see what Towns is about to do. Let's see the BS that he does. Oh, get blocked. I knew he was going to launch that three-pointer. That was a perfect closeout. That's our ball. Yeah, this game is basically over. But it's funny that I'm thinking about trading our point guard, my son Ranchic, for DeJounte Murray. I'm really considering it, strongly considering it, but he's been balling out this game, making the case as to why he shouldn't be traded. But I don't know. It's just a defense factor, bro. Bradley Beal got the defender up in the air. Look at that. But here's Brandon Ingram. Look at too easy. I'm getting whatever I want. Another day, another W. We're beating the teams that we're supposed to beat. We're beating the teams that's under 500. And our schedule up to the All-Star break, a lot of the teams are under 500. So we should be able to win at least 30 games before the All-Star break, bro. Yeah, this Timberwolves team is not it. D-Lo leading scorer of the game, the only one really putting in work, but Carl Anthony Towns, 2 of 11 from the field, 0 of 3 from 3 point range. He had 11 rebounds, but that's not going to cut it, bro. My son D-Lo, 28 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. The only guy putting in work, look at that, 13 of 19 from the field. I feel bad for D-Lo. This was a perfect team win, perfect team effort. Everybody contributing in this game. My son Pav, bro. 3 of 12 from the field. I was launching a lot of bad shots, so I can't really blame that on him in all honesty. But look at how many players in double figures for us this game. Perfect team win, perfect team effort. Dwayne Hendricks, 10 points. Brandon Ingram had 10. Kuzma off the bench with 12. Bradley Beal, the heart and soul of our squad with 13. We're doing good, bro. We're really doing good. Another game, another W. We are on the rise. We have really been playing well this season, bro. We really have. In my opinion, we're going to finish as, I think, a fourth seed, fourth or fifth seed in the Eastern Conference at least. But anyways, leave a comment and let me know about that DeJounte Murray trade. I'm really, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards doing that. I don't really want to trade Pop, but at the same time, we could get DeJounte Murray. His stats are up there, and we need another good defender on this team because Brandon Ingram, he's not really the best defender, and Bradley Beal, he's an okay defender. He's not bad. I can't even say Bradley Beal's a bad defender, but we need more good defenders on this squad. Defense wins championships. Anyways, leave that comment or those comments for me in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and click one of the playlists on the screen. Check out some of my other content because my content is fire, bro. What are you doing? We got the best my GM content around these parts. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. This is the Prince of YouTube signing out.